He went on to liken furry culture to bestiality, which he called a sin, prompting Vio to ask him, what's your opinion on Vor? A Twitter user shared a screenshot of this exchange, leading Hal to quote tweet it with lyrics from the rapper Eminem's 2000 single, The Way I Am. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So they posted this. He said, and I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? In the paper, the news every day I am. Ha, radio can't even play my jam. That's funny. That's really funny. I don't know. I think that's pretty funny, bro. The leader of the Heritage Foundation posting Eminem lyrics is so funny. So apparently some gay furries decided to hack something called the Heritage Foundation. I don't know what the Heritage Foundation is. The Heritage Foundation. Foundation. Sometimes referred to as Heritage as an American activist conservative think tank based in Washington, D.C. Okay. What do they actually do? Took a leading role in the conservative movement in the 1980s during the presidency of Ronald Reagan, whose policies were taken from the Heritage Foundation studies, including its mandate for leadership. It has had significant influence in U.S. public policy making and has historically been ranked among the most influential public policy organizations in the United States. In 2010, it founded a sister organization, Heritage Action, an influential activist force in conservative and Republican politics. So we've got a history of them here. So it's a very influential political think tank, I guess you would say, right? And some furries decided to hack them. Some furries actually decided to hack the Heritage Foundation. Heritage Foundation exec threatens gay furry hackers and unhinged texts. A newly released log of messages shows the director of the think tank spewing insults after a data breach. Self-described furry hackers on July 2nd breached archival data from a website that was operated by the Heritage Foundation until recently. And on Tuesday, they released two gigabytes of internal data originally collected from the conservative think tank. Now, an executive director of the organization is so hopping mad that he might as well invest in a kangaroo costume. All right, that was kind of a cringe line, Rolling Stone. Who wrote this article? Article. Miles Clee? That's a weird thing to say, Miles Clee. There's no reason to say something like that, to be honest with you. Is this is the writer of this article a furry? I'm pushing conspiracy theories. He is a furry, 1000%. There's no doubt. He is a furry. The hacktivist collective Siege Sec has been engaged in a campaign called Operation Trans Rights, in which it targets government websites with the aim of disrupting efforts to enact or enforce anti trans and anti abortion laws. Heritage Foundation was selected due to his Project 2025 plan, seen as a blueprint for Donald Trump to reshape the U.S. with sweeping far right reforms should he win another term as president. Dan says there's no proof Trump has anything to do with project 2025 okay i don't know anything about that i see people talking about this on twitter what is project 2025 the right's terrifying plan to remake america oh subscribe i'm not subscribing off rolling stone you're owned group member vo informed the outlet that they aim to provide transparency to the public regarding who exactly is supporting heritage and that the leaked data they included full names email addresses passwords and usernames of the individual link to the nonprofit. this material is the daily dot reported is the heritage foundation now confirms came from the daily signal heritage's media and commentary site which lists one mike howell is an investigative columnist the former trump administration official in the department of homeland security is also the executive director of heritage's oversight project an initiative focused on border security elections and countering the influence of the Communist Party of China. It was Howell who contacted Siege Sec in the wake of the breach to get answers about their motivations. As he continued to message VO, his text grew more unhinged and threatening. So these people essentially saw the Heritage Foundation. They didn't agree with the political stuff that they were going to push through Project 2025, which I guess they thought would be enacted through Trump. And essentially because of that, they decided to hack it to expose who the donors were. Now, I don't know if hacking is a good thing to do. I would never support that. That being said, I feel like in politics, transparency on who your donors are is probably important. I feel like that probably is important, right? It literally is a crime. Well, yeah, obviously. But I feel like if somebody's donating to a political campaign, if there's like these weird forces behind the scenes donating to someone, whether they're right wing or left wing, there should definitely be like proof of that. Tom, look up the Project 2025 PDF and search photography. They want to ban all make distributors registered sex offenders is that true project 2025 2025 pdf okay mandate for leadership the conservative promise project 2025 their product is addictive as any illicit drug and is psychologically destructive as any crime Photography should be outlawed. The people who produce and distribute it should be imprisoned. Educators and public librarians who purvey it should be classed as registered sex offenders. Okay, what is the full context of this? Photography manifested today in the omnipresent propagation of transgender ideology and civilization of children, for instance, is not a political Gordian knot, inextricably binding as disparate claims about free speech, property rights, sexual liberation, and child welfare. It is no claim to First Amendment protection. Its purveyors are child predators and misogynistic exploiters of women. Their product is as addictive as any illicit drug and as psychologically destructive as any crime should be outlawed holy sh they straight up do say it the thing is i don't think pornography is good for people addiction is definitely a big problem and i i like the fact that um i like the fact that there's like been news about websites they're like outlawing and like texas i think is one state that did it basically you need id verification to access that site i actually think that is good but i would probably say that outlawing entirely would probably be bad trump has both disavowed and endorsed it yeah, I mean, the thing is with someone at that level of politician, I'm just not going to trust what they endorse or don't endorse, generally speaking, with stuff like that, you know? It is crazy. They want to, Project 25 wants to outlaw all... There definitely needs to be heavier restrictions, undoubtedly. I think that's very good, but, like, anyone who watches or distributes... 
if it's of like consenting adults should be thrown in jail. That's kind of insane. After declining to talk with Howell by phone, Vio described what it was that they and their furry hacker comrades sought to accomplish. You want to shine a light upon who uh, supports the Heritage Foundation. Howell seemed stunned by the explanation. That's why you hacked us? Just for that? Once the full chat log was released by SiegeSec, Hal confirmed the Daily Dot was genuine and that the conversation had taken place on Wednesday. From there, Howell's tone shifted. We're in the process of identifying and outing members of your group. Reputations and lives will be destroyed. Closeted furries will be presented to the world for the degenerate perverts they are. That's funny. As VO expressed skepticism that anyone in SiegeSec would be identifying and continue to criticize the heritage agenda as harmful to human rights, Howell invoked biblical authority and seethed. They're using seethe in a real article? Jesus. That the hackers had turned against nature. God created nature and nature's laws are vicious. It is is why you have to put on a perverted animal costume to satisfy your sexual deviance. Are you aware you won't be able to wear a furry tiger costume when you're getting pounded in the ass in the federal prison I put you in next year? <laughs> Yo. Okay, that's kind of based. When Vio taunted the executive for his outburst and hinted to be posting the conversation online, he said, please share widely. I hope the word spread as fast as the SCDs do in your degenerate furry community. He went on to liken furry culture to bestiality, which he called a sin, prompting Vio to ask him, what's your opinion on Vore? A Twitter user shared a screenshot of this exchange, leading Hal to quote tweet it in with lyrics from the rapper Eminem's 2000 single, The Way I Am. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So they posted this and he said, and I am whatever the whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? In the paper, the news, every day I am. Ha, radio can't even play my jam. That's funny. That's really funny. I don't know. I think that's pretty funny, bro. The leader of the Heritage Foundation posting Eminem lyrics is so funny. Hours later, Howell learned the Daily Dots reporting, via the Daily Dots reporting, that VO had decided to try and quit their life of cybercrime, and the rest of the collective agreed it was time to let Siege Sec rest for good, in part to avoid FBI attention. Complete and total victory, Howell tweeted. I have forced the gay furry hackers to disband. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's cool. Dude, this tweet is so funny. That's really funny. But it remains to be seen whether these hackers who last year managed to breach NATO systems as well as major US nuclear lab they demanded begin research on creating IRL cat girls will truly disappear into the shadows. Like an empowering fursona. Bro! Rolling Stone. Why are you writing empowering fursona, bro? Come on, bro. Is there any reason to do that, bro? Empowering fursona. Empowering fursona. Like an empowering fursona. Hacking can be an identity that's hard to give up. Before he congratulates himself anymore, Howell might want to at least change passwords. The Heritage Foundation was not hacked. An organized group stumbled upon a two-year-old archive of the Daily Signal website that was available on a public-facing website owned by a contractor. The information obtained was limited to usernames, names, email addresses, and incomplete password information about Heritage and non-Heritage heritage content distributors, as well as article comments and the IP addresses of the commenter. No heritage systems were breached at any time, and all heritage databases and websites remain secure, including Project 2025. The data at issue have been taken down, and additional security steps have been taken as a precaution. The story of a hack is a false narrative and exaggeration by a group of criminals trolling to get attention. Get on the roids. Yeah, I do want to get on the roids. Dude, this is, uh, this is pretty funny, bro. I don't know. On one hand, you've got these, you've got these, like, gay furry hackers who oppose project 2025 and want to expose the anonymous donors there and then you've got them fighting like the republican think tank establishment the heritage foundation which apparently has some influence on real politicians that is really funny that is i mean that's like that's like the funniest story that there could possibly be what the hell that's so funny you don't get a story like that every day do you chat God damn. I've got some other tweets here. I'm reviewing this alleged hack of the Heritage Foundation. I have identified very embarrassing details in this data set. Why so many Chinese IP addresses? The zip file contains one single file. Daily Signal Dev Database new.sql. It appears to be a combined set of exports from the SQL database. Here are the first lines. Because this is a combined report, likely from the command line of various tables, the file is not readable by a typical SQL editor. It needs to be split into pieces to make it so. I'd rather try and do a CSV chunk to start cleaning up the data set. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so it looks like some of these IPs are from Taiwan, India, China, South Korea. Are these IPs of users or are they... Are they IPs of commenters? What is this IPs of? So here's a message from the hacker group, Siege Sec. It's been 28 hours since we released the database of the Heritage Foundation. First, we'd like to say thank you for all the immense support. It's greatly appreciated. Many articles, news stories, and social media posts about this breach have caught the attention of many people. One of the people happens to be the executive director of the Heritage Foundation Project's oversight, uh, Mike Howell. So we saw those DMs. Then they disband. I'm curious if uh, these guys are ever going to go to jail or anything. We have this post from a furry. It would be a damn shame the Heritage Foundation, one of the most influential conservative think tanks in the U.S. and anti-progressive and anti LGBT organization got hacked by gay furries. That'll be so sad. So here they're cheering it on, I guess. Um, 
here we have Michael. So here we have the chat logs leaked. We saw that. And then we have an article about them disbanding, basically. Given the circumstances, I believe it's best we do so now for our own mental health, the stress of mass publicity, and to avoid the eye of the FBI. I wonder if the FBI is going to come after these people. I assume Mike Howell and the Heritage Foundation are going to do their best to get law enforcement to enact this. So I'd be very curious uh, how this goes through and if we ever get any confirmation on that or if these people get arrested. But yeah, for now, we don't have any uh, confirmation on who they were. I don't know if that will happen. Very interesting, uh, quote unquote, drama. I don't even know if you would call it a drama. I don't know. I don't know what you would call this realistically.